Hello everyone, welcome to this session. I am going to explain in this session solar pond electric power plant. Here the pond is used just like a lake to collect the solar energy, solar heat energy. Then that heat energy we have to convert into electric power and that whatever the plant we are going to use that is the solar pond electric power plant. And here I am going to explain in this session how the heat energy is stored in the pond and what is the that is the condition is there for that pond to store the heat energy and later that heat contained in the water of the pond is to be converted into electricity by using the power plant. Okay, that is a continuation I am going to take. The first I will take the how the working of the solar power or solar pond is there compared to natural pond. Here in the natural pond, so in the natural pond, the whatever water stored in the pond is there, okay, it is a pure water, then the whatever solar heat energy falling on it, that is transferred to the lower layers. Then lower layer of the water will be get heated, then due to that temperature difference, there is a convection current, therefore the water layer uh, below that one that will move to the surface and thereby by the convection heat will transfer to the atmosphere. Like this there is a convection current is set and by that the whatever the receiving and uh, transferring the heat will be continuously take, takes place and there will be very little rise in the water temperature in the natural pond. But in the solar pond okay, that whatever the water is there in that the salt is added the salt is added so that it receives the heat and it retains heat in order to that it will not move to the top by convection current and thereby it will not lose the heat it stores the heat in it okay this is the solar pond okay here usually about the one to two meters of the depth it will be there one to two meters of the depth solar pond will be there in the large area in the large area that is in order to collect the heat this is the artificially developed ponds these are artificially developed pond ponds in order to convert that is solar energy into the electric energy and it consists of the three layers that is upper that is a pure water layer and that is a transparent layer that one that transferring that whatever the heat it is receiving it transfers it will not absorb uh, heat very less heat it will absorb and transfer and this is the intermediate the surface convective zone that is a by the convection heat it will be transfers and this is the intermediate zone that is the second zone where that is a non-convective zone that will not lose heat by convection little it will be stores and transfers the whatever the heat coming from the first zone to the, the third zone. Okay, here the third zone whatever is there, it is the storage zone. That means it stores the heat. Why it stores the heat means it contains the salt in it. Okay, that is some of the uh, salt which stores the energy. That is sodium chloride and magnesium chloride like salts are added in this one. And because of that one, there is a density gradient will be there from the bottom layer to the top layer. Top layer is having the lower density and middle layer, it will also contain some salt in that and it will be higher density than the first layer. And third layer is, it is a high concentration zone. It will having the higher, more higher density than compared to the second one. That's why whenever it receives the heat, the salty water will receive the heat, more heat and then it will be, its temperature will be increases. And because of the density difference, this water, whatever is there in the third zone, that will not move to the top layer. And therefore heat, whatever is there, that is stored in this zone only. And here the, the black lining is provided, usually the plastic durable uh, material is used for the black lining and thereby the heat will not loss from the lower layer to the outside also. Then there here the heat it will receive and stored in it. Okay, then later that whatever the uh, water is there, the hot brine water that is supplied 
for the power generation. How the power generation is taking place later we will discuss that one. The working of the power plant uh, that is solar pond only we will discuss here and whenever hot prime water will uh, take from or uh, take out from this solar pond the fresh water whatever is there that is a fresh means it is a brine water only it is having the lower temperature that will be added to the pond too. Like this the working again we uh, will explain here then later we are going to take that is working of the solar pond power plant. The explanation for that whatever the solar pond is there. A solar pond is a mass of shallow water depth up to 1 to 2 meters deep with a large collection area which acts as a heat trap. It contains dissolved salts to generate the stable density gradient. The stable density gradient means density difference. Top layer lower density and lower layer, lower layer higher density. That means density gradient, density difference should be maintained. The salts are used in order to maintain that one. If the pond is filled with the fresh water, if the pond is filled with the fresh water, the lower layer would heat up and expand and rise to the surface because of the convective mixing and heat loss at the surface. If the pond is filled with the fresh water, then this whatever the heating of the lower layers will be taking place and that will rise to the top surface by the convection because of the mixing only a small temperature rise in the pond could be realized if the fresh water is filled with that one. Okay, then in solar pond what happens that one part of the ancient solar radiation enter, entering the pond surface convective zone is absorbed throughout the depth and remainder of which penetrates is absorbed in the black bottom. Okay, that is some part is absorbed in the convective zone and some part in the intermediate zone that one and transparent zone and lower black bottom whatever is there there the completely heat absorption will be taking place and that is trans 1 to 2 meter of the depth the solar radiation is passing and that is stored as the heat at the bottom the heat then passes to a lower concentration middle non convective zone the lower storage zone layer receives the heat from the middle zone and gets heated and stores the heat due to salt content. Whatever the whatever lower uh, non-conductive zone is the middle one and lower that is a storage zone. The top is a convective zone that is a circulating heat. The only the non-conductive zone only transfer of the heat it will carry out that one. Lower zone whatever is there it stores heat in it because of the salt content. On the other, other hand, convection can be eliminated by initially creating sufficiently strong salt concentration gradient. Okay, that the strong salt concentration gradient is to be used in order to uh, have the, that is a sufficient concentration gradient. That means the whatever the concentration is the salt content at the bottom layer is um, higher compared to the top layer. Top layer is almost fresh water with a very uh, less or a no salt content. Like this, continuation with this one, we will take that one. With the convection suppressor, the convection is suppressed in this one. The heat is lost from the lower layer only by conduction. Okay, as it is a convection is suppressed, the heat is lost from the lower layer only by conduction through that whatever the black uh, layer provided through that one. Because of the relatively low conductivity, the water acts as an insulator and permits high temperature. Okay, that is the conductivity is also less for the water. Because of that one, it acts as an insulator and permits a high temperature. Okay, about over the 90 degrees Celsius temperature we can reach there to develop in the bottom layers. At the bottom layer, the temperature up to 90 degrees Celsius we can have. At the bottom of the pond, a thick durable plastic liner, liner is laid. Okay, there is a thick durable and uh, there is a plastic liner is laid that is the, acts as a, the black layer which receives the heat and it will not transfer the heat through a conduction through it because of the plastic material and the heat is stored in the lower layer. The materials used for the liner include butyl rubber, black polythene and Hypalon reinforced with the nylon mesh. These are the material used for the black liner at the bottom. The salts like magnesium chloride 
sodium chloride or sodium nitrates are dissolved in the water. The salt, whatever we are going to use in our, have the concentration gradients. Those are the magnesium chloride, sodium chloride or a sodium nitrate we are going to use. The concentration varying from the 20 to 30 percent at the bottom to almost zero at the top. Okay, the concentration of the salt content, whatever is that, it is 20 to 30 percent at the bottom layer and zero at the top layer. Almost there is no salt content at the top layer. Then now we will take that is how the working of the solar pond power plant takes place. Okay, here this is the solar pond. Already we have discussed how the it receives the heat from the solar radiation and stores at the bottom we have discussed. And here the hot brine is there at the bottom and that hot brine whatever is there, that hot brine is supplied to a evaporator. In the evaporator, the some other fluid, low boiling point organic fluid is used. By using this hot brine that will heat and evaporates that fluid into a vapor. Then the vapor as the it will forms a vapor, its pressure increases and uh, it will be in the form of vapor and that vapor whatever is there that is expanded in the turbine okay that is expanded in the turbine and here the turbine will starts rotating due to the expansion of the vapor then after the expansion the vapor whatever it is coming out and that is sent to a condenser and here in the condenser the vapor of the organic fluid will be condensed to a liquid state by using the cold fluid which is supplying from the cooling tower. Here in the cooling tower, the whatever the water which is coming from the condenser that is pumped to a, this uh, uh, condenser, uh, sorry, cooling tower, there it is sprayed and thereby when it is flowing uh, in the downward direction, heat is lost to the that uh, which is contacting fluid and thereby its temperature reduces and the lower temperature water, cold water, whatever is there, it is pumped again to a condenser and this cycle will be continuous. And thereby the condensing of the organic fluid into a liquid fluid is taking place. And this organic fluid, whatever is there, that is again pumped to a this evaporator. And where it will be get evaporated by receiving the heat from the hot brine and that cycle will be continuous. And here the whatever the turbine is there and that turbine shaft the mechanical energy that will be connected to a generator electrical generator where it generates the electricity from it and that electricity we are going to get from the this solar pond power plant like this in uh, solar pond power plant we are going to receive the heat from the uh, sun's radiation and that will be converted into a heat content in the water first and later that is used to evaporate the some other secondary fluid as to boil and vapor of that one will be expanded in the turbine to generate the electricity from it and later the cycle will be continuous that is the solar pond electric power plant okay by using the solar energy the pond we are going to you know, use to convert that solar energy into heat then that heat is utilized to run the power plant that is the solar pond power plant the working again it is explained here the hot water from the bottom level of the pond is pumped to a evaporator where the organic working fluid is vaporized the vapor uh, flows under high pressure to the turbine and then expands through the turbine and the electric generator is linked to it electric generator is linked to it generate the electricity the vapor then travels to the condenser where the cold water from the cooling tower condenses the vapor into a liquid. The liquid is pumped back to the evaporator where the cycle is repeated. By this, in the continuous cycle, we are going to generate the electricity from this solar pond power plant. Okay, this is about the whatever the working of the one of the conversion method of the solar energy. That is a solar pond electric power plant. Like this we are going to use the some other methods to convert the solar energy into the uh, useful form of the energy that probably the electricity okay then i am going to uh, stop here only for this solar pond power plant then i am going to explain the other methods in the next videos thank you
Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe and share if you like my videos. Thanks.